Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ciphering Weather. In today's video, are we seeing deja vu in the Gulf of Mexico with possible development of 93L and discuss what could happen the rest of this week in the tropics. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. I want to give a shout out to everybody who voted on my bowling team's theme week video and helped us win uh, theme week so thank you very much and let's get into the video so we're looking at the latest satellite image of the atlantic basin thanks to tropicaltippets.com for saturday june 22nd 2024 the green arrow is pointing towards what's left of 92l as it's making its way inland across the east coast of the united states black arrow is 93l in the gulf of mexico will it form into a tropical storm just like alberto and then we have our four tropical waves that we're monitoring in pink, purple, blue, and red. So here's our vorticity signature of all of our entities that we are tracking. The one off the southeast coast of the United States, which would be tropical if it had some thunderstorm activity with it. Then we have 93L in the Gulf of Mexico, elongated and stretched out, trying to consolidate itself. And then our four tropical waves moving through the Atlantic and Caribbean. Here is 92L. As you can see, it's got a low level swirl right on the coast of Georgia right now, but it's got no thunderstorms associated with it. So that's why we do not have anything tropical in nature with this one. Uh, just invest 92L. It's going to continue moving to the northeast and combine with a cold front. So its chances of developing into anything tropical are slim to none at this point. That hurricane center is giving a 0% chance over the next 2 and 7 days. Here is 93L in the Gulf of Mexico. It's a stretched out, elongated, low pressure system at the moment. Uh, most of its thunderstorm convection, like Alberto, is to the north of this low pressure system. So a lot more rain for Mexico and southern Texas. Here's the Getty Track guidance model showing a pretty much similar path to where Alberto went just a few days ago. And its chances for becoming a tropical storm are becoming limited. It's got pretty much just the next 24 up to 48 hours to become a tropical storm before making landfall with Mexico. So it's got a 40% chance of doing that in the next two days as well as the next seven days until it'll be inland during those next two days. So let's see where we go on the models with 93L as well as our rest of our tropical waves if they have any chance for development during this last week of June. So the black hexagon will be 93L and then purple, pink, blue, and red are our tropical waves that we're monitoring. Here's the favorable environment for wind shear in terms of 93L and a lot of its moisture so it's really just a lack of time over water that will be hampering its development into a uh, tropical storm uh, if it can do so just before landfall it'll become barrel if not it's just going to be uh, an, a invest just like 92l as it makes its way inland into mexico so 24 hours from now we see it's still just off the coast of mexico at this point our tropical waves continue moving forward and then by sometime Sunday night into Monday, Invest 92L, 93L will already be inland into Mexico at this point. And we see our tropical waves continue to move through the Caribbean and the main development region at this point. So what does the environment look like for these tropical waves as we go forward throughout this week? This is Monday, June 24th. So we'll have some pockets of low wind shear, but the majority of the Caribbean will be in a high wind shear environment as well as the Gulf of Mexico. So those two areas will be knocked off initially with, in terms of development. And the main development region will be slightly conducive, but we're going to have a lot of dry air in the main development region. So that's going to hamper some of these uh, tropical waves as they come off the coast of Africa. They'll look impressive and then they'll die out because of the dry air. And then we'll have to see if they any of these systems energy that vorticity survives into the Caribbean, where even though it's not conducive for tropical development now at high wind shear, 
we could see that become better as we go through the week. So we'll track these tropical waves. This is now on day five on Thursday, June 27th. And we see the only one that's made it to the Caribbean at this point is our red tropical wave. And then we have a new tropical wave that we are highlighting by our black hexagon in the middle of the main development region. They continue the move westward around our Bermuda Azores High, which is pretty strong at this point, centered right between Bermuda and, Azor and the Azores Islands. And then by the time we get to day seven, we see that the Central American gyra is spinning up again with our tropical wave in red. So we'll see if that sparks anything. And we have two tropical waves, one approaching Trinidad and Tobago and the Lesser Antilly Islands and another one in the middle of the main development region a week from now by next Saturday, June 29th. None of these systems are showing signs of development on this model run. If we look at the uh, wind shear environment, we see an upper level ridge over the Central American gyro, so similar setup that we saw with Alberto and we're looking at with 93L. Uh, that will continue its northwest track. So continue to see a lot of moisture from these systems moving in that direction. Our two tropical waves in the main development region will have low wind shear environments still, but we're going to see if it can fight off some of that dry air, as you can see, just to its north. Both of these tropical waves look a little bit more impressive on the models. We'll see if that is reality by the time we get to next Saturday. We look at the European model, pretty much the same thing. We have 93L moving into Mexico, and then we have our tropical waves just moving westward into the Caribbean, but nothing really developing. It's the ensemble models that are suggesting that there's a slight chance for development of these systems, but as you can see, nothing intense. We don't see any greens, yellows, reds, or pinks on here, just some blues and light blue lines moving through. So it's weak tropical development at best with any of these tropical waves if they find a favorable environment. So 93L will be another rainmaker, even if it doesn't become our next tropical storm, bringing more rain to northern Mexico and southern Texas over the next 24 to 48 hours. And we'll monitor these tropical waves as they come off the coast of Africa and move west across the Caribbean and the Atlantic. We had Alberto. We're awaiting Beryl to see if 93L captures that, or if we have to wait a little bit longer uh, into the month of July, as we see nothing on the model suggesting development in the rest of the month of June. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on Deciphering Weather. So if you'd like to donate to the channel because you like what we're doing, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you do want like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.